So for the distance horses next then it's the Marathon, it's the Langbrook Marathon leg three, and he's all with the championships two miles, naught to eighty again. And the top one is what you're proposing for Padraig Hogan, Huntress for Martin Needham, Invisible for Craig Beckwith, Yeah Noir, Alex Cherry, Treasure to Carla, Eric Zintz, Baroness Richmond, Jim Murray, pa Pardon Burrow, Thomas Rogers, Red Law, Alex Cherry, Suivez Taverner, Thomas Rogers, Set Menu, Martin Needham, Shergar and Dr. Sodog for Ryan Costello, Smog for Graham Clutterbuck, Infinity for Obi Wan, and Destiny's Game. For Satyam. So 15 this time, then. And two miles around Newcastle on the dirt. And all installed, and away they go. Who's going to be the first to take on the lead? It looks like it's going to be a Satyam. Destiny's game. Destiny's game from Dr. Sodog. They both like to go from the front, and they're going to dispute it with Invisible just in behind them as well. Then comes Baroness Richmond, set menu. He's after that one in the purple and white stripes. The green jacket on the inside of that one belongs to Treasure de Car. In fact, it's not a green jacket, it's green sleeves and a purple jacket. So it's Destiny's game in the lead then. By about a length to Dr. Sodog in second. And Invisible is third. There's a gap of three lengths then to Baroness Richmond, who's in fourth. Smog is next. Treasure de Car on the rail. Then set menu is after that one. After that one is Red Law. The grey on the rail is Huntress. And that's in a long line of about seven of them that are pretty much together. Suivez Taverner is just about the back marker. But there's still a long way to go. They're inside the final mile and a half though, and Destiny's Game is the leader by a couple of lengths to Dr. Sodog on Invisible. And the gap is then five to Baroness Richmond and Treasure de Carla and Smog with Set Menu and Red Law. And what you're proposing is getting a little bit closer as well. Shergar after that one, and Huntress, and then Yen Noir with Infinity in the yellow jacket, and then the two in the green, Pardon Burrow and Suivez Taverner, who is the bat marker. So, Destiny's game then is setting the pace, and leads by a good two lengths to Invisible, who is very much visible in second, and Dr. Sodog, who is back in third, and then a gap to Baroness Richmond and Treasure de Carla still got the rail. Smog on the outside, also on the rail there is Set Menu. Next to that one, Red Law. What you're proposing is getting a bit closer. Huntress the Grey also creeping closer on the rail as well. But they're going to need a lot of luck, those ones on the rail, to get through an absolute wall of horses in front of them. And Infinity is now just about dropped to the back. So Infinity might be at the back, but Invisible is now challenging for the lead with Destiny's Game. The one that currently holds that lead. So Destiny's Game the Grey on the inside of Invisible. Dr. Sodog is tucked away in third. Now making a forward route to try and join them is Baroness Richmond. Treasure to Carla likewise. Then Smog Set Menu is also kicking on as well. Then a little bit of a gap back to the rest of them who are headed by Shergar and Huntress. But it's the Grey Destiny's Game who's still in, the, in front. Nasty seen off. Invisible. Invisible's there in second. And then on the inside Dr. Sodog. Baroness Richmond is next. Then Set Menu and Smog trying to get into it as well. After that one, Huntress is running on really well from the back. So too trying to run on his Shergar and what you were proposing but it's Destiny's Game still in the lead. Three furlongs to go. Destiny's Game's in front from in second place. Baroness Richmond then comes Set Menu trying to get into it. Invisible just dropping back a little bit. Huntress is now switched to the outside and it's coming through with a good looking run but they've got to get to these leading pair. Destiny's Game and Baroness Richmond well inside the final two furlongs. Baroness Richmond now comes to challenge Destiny's Game and Baroness Richmond takes it up. Baroness Richmond from Destiny's Game. Set Menu and Treasure the Car, then Invisible Shergar still running on into the final furlong. It's Baroness Richmond who's beginning to pull away. Invisible's got a second wind and is beginning to close. It's Baroness Richmond from Invisible, but Baroness Richmond has got to hold on and take it. Baroness Richmond is the winner. Invisible second, Destiny's going third, then Treasure the Car and Set Menu, then Smug and Huntress. And a field will trail back to Pardon Burrow. Destiny's game couldn't see it out. But Baroness Richmond, a pretty decisive win through to the final. And wins it for Jim Murray. Invisible second for Craig Beckwith. We'll also get through that final. Destiny's game for Satya. Look at how low that one's rating was. That will certainly be going up a little bit, I would think. Um, fourth was Treasure Nakara for Alex Ince. And fifth was Set Menu for Martin Lidham. <laughs>